Every student has at least one of these. Once used, they usually end up thrown away. But thanks to Save That Pen, these pens can be given a second chance. We collect unwanted or used pens from members of the public around Singapore. And we actually sort and refill these pens and then we give it out to underprivileged students, uh, both in Singapore as well as in the region. Save That Pen has been going on for four years. Started in NUS by a group of final year students, the project has since gone big, really big. Schools and other universities have joined in. Organisations like NEA and NTUC have stepped in to support the initiative. And young NTUC volunteers have been recruited to help sort and refill the pens. Young NTUC hopes to uh, engage youth who are active in a purposeful way. We also support and encourage youth activism. In this case, Save the Pen epitomizes the cause and uh, through Save the Pen Day, we hope to create awareness about the environment. Uh, it also provides a platform for our members to play a part in it, in uh, making this uh, environment more sustainable. I would like to uh, give the pen a new lease and because uh, I'm always interested in voluntary work, so com coming to see this event, I feel that it's a good cause and I thought it would be good to volunteer and have some fun with um, the secondary school students. In all, some 50,000 old and used pens have been collected and around 20 schools and villages in Singapore and the region have benefited from this single innovative scheme. Now, there's even a designated Save That Pen Day. The response has been phenomenal. So basically, a lot of people take to the project. I think many Singaporeans can relate to the fact that, you know, we waste pens. So uh, we try and target students because we believe in the, in the message that um, sustainability needs to be taught at a young age. And that is why we have Save That Pen Day today. Today, we're expecting to collect about 18,000 pens. So that's quite a lot because we've been running this project for the past three years and we've collected 60,000. Initially, we try and link up with schools, see whether they are interested. And there are some schools that are very green effort friendly and they will say, oh, quite a good idea, they will start it. And after one, two years, we are at quite a steady state. Schools actually approach us instead of the other way around. And we have a whole starter kit guide for schools for them to start with the sorting, where to get refills, and a lot of schools these days, they go for overseas expeditions, and this is where they can put the pens they have refilled to very good use by passing it on to the other Navy kids around. Equipping the participants to do their own Save That Pen projects is a great way to localise the scheme and help it gain greater momentum. Now anyone interested in saving the environment by recycling pens can jump on board with the easy step-by-step -step starter kit provided by the team. Uh, the experience has been uh, very new and it teaches us how to treasure our pens even more. La. Because uh, before that, even our pens can be refilled. La. When it's just finished, we just dump it away. La. But this event has taught us the importance of how treasuring all these pens. La. Leftover pens from Save That Pen, which weren't used before. And we constructed, using them internet, a curtain of pens. And we arranged it according to a colour gradient to show the most amount of pens used were the blue colour ones. So they will be the first pens, and then we'll follow by the colour gradation from there. Because our installation is designed in a way that it obstructs the corridor, it's not meant to be something that you just look at. So the idea was to get people's attention when they went into the corridor and they had difficulty going through it. So we want to present the pens as a collective to show that, hey, this is the amount of waste that you are generating. What started out as a simple project to save old pens has become a new chapter in Singapore's move to promote sustainable living. Uh, we have a very big vision that we want to have a zero waste living. Uh, right now, what we are focusing on will be what is um, following up after Save That Pen Day. 
we hope that um, the schools have, uh, who have participated in Save That Pen Day will continue the entire cycle so they can experience and learn about environmental sustainability. Indeed, in conveying the message of protecting the environment, these pens are definitely mightier than the sword.